When it comes to Linux and the wonderful world of free and open source software, there are so many applications out there, just countless tens of thousands of programs out there, and I love trying out new software. And one of the coolest pieces of software I came across here recently, you know, I typically do all of my like system monitoring and stuff like that in the terminal using tools like Top and HTOP, but graphical system monitoring applications can be kind of neat. And I came across this one called Mission Center, and this thing looks gorgeous. It's a GTK4 application using libadwaita. So what I'm looking at here, this is their website, missioncenter.io. So it's hosted over on GitHub. As far as getting the program, it's free and open source software. You might be able to find it in your Linux distributions repositories, but if you can't, it is available on FlatHub as a flat pack. And since they have this button here, I'm assuming that the developers of Mission Center actually maintain the flat pack themselves, because if that's their official package, that's the one I'm going to install. I've already got Mission Center installed on my machine. I went ahead and installed the flat pack. So let me show you Mission Center in action. Let's go ahead and launch it. Takes a second to load, but this thing just looks absolutely gorgeous. So the way this is laid out here, you've got this little sidebar here, this kind of panel here on the side. Now you can toggle that to show and hide, but you can see you've got various graphs you can look at right now. We're looking at the CPU, but if we wanted to, we could switch over to memory. Uh, actually, we could uh, look at memory and swap here on this. And then we've got drives. I've got various drives on my machine, but the one in use right now, the main drive is the NVMe drive. We could take a look at that. Of course, we could take a look at my GPU, my uh, Radeon 7 GPU here. What's really interesting, uh, assuming that your machine reports this kind of stuff accurately to this particular application is you've got fan speeds, right? So this is something I know a lot of people people will want to use. If I go back to the CPU, one interesting thing is there is some customization to these graphs. If I right click, I can actually change graph to instead of overall utilization. So basically all of my processor as one graph, I could do logical processors. So let's divide this up because I have a 12 core processor, 12 cores, 24 threads. Let's take a look at these 24 graphs here, right? That's kind of neat as well. So visually looking at graphs for your CPU, memory, fan speed, that's kind of cool. But what a lot of people will use this for is as a system process monitor and particularly what you probably use it for is a, a system process uh, killer, right? Because that's typically like in the terminal when I fire up HTOP, you know, most of the time when I fire up HTOP is because I need to kill a program. I need to find a certain program, what's taking up so much RAM, uh, what's taking up so much CPU on my machine. Maybe there's a process that's out of control. Let me go find the culprit and kill it. And you can do that here. If I go, instead of performance, we hit apps here we get a list of some of the applications that are running. You can see we've got apps and processes, and you've got several Brave processes. Remember, I got the Brave browser open on missioncenter.io, that website, so we obviously have browser processes. Now let's imagine that maybe the Brave browser is frozen up, it won't close, it won't respond. I need to kill that particular process. Well, I can just right click on it, I get this menu here, and you can see I can stop the process and I can force stop the process, right? Give it the nuclear option. I don't need to kill my Brave browser, but that is neat that you have this system process viewer and killer here as well. You also have the same thing with your services. You've got the services button here, and of course this is going to be your system D services. And what's cool here is you can start and stop services. You can also restart services that are already running, and of course you can get D details as well. And you see right now I have 42 running services and we've got our little menu here. If I click on this, you can see I can also do the start, stop, restart and details over here on an individual process, or I could choose to use the buttons here at the top. You can also search, for example, if I needed to search for a, a process ID or a name, you know, I could do that. Also, we have our preferences settings here. Now, there's not a lot of preference stuff here, but there's a few things you can adjust. For example, for the graphs, you know, if you want to update how fast uh, certain things update the graphs, uh, you can change the speed. You can also change the graphs as far as instead of a jagged line graph, you can do a smooth graph just by toggling that on. If I go back to a graph, so let me get out of the uh, search here, go to performance. These are the graphs. 
and let's go back to the single uh, graph so overall utilization you can see this is much more smooth instead of the jagged lines on each second that you get a new report if i toggle that back off you could see the difference so let's go back into processes turn smooth graphs off and you can see now you get the jagged line graph and that's pretty much what you get with mission center i mean it's a, a rather simple and straightforward application a system process monitor these applications i mean if, i guess if you've seen one you've seen them all what i love about this is it's includes so much stuff in one application because you do get you know your charts you do get all of your system processes you do get all of your system d services but really with the charts you know that is the killer feature as well as again you get some information you typically don't get in some other system process viewers like for example what are your fans doing right now now as always before i go i need to thank the producers of this episode and of course i'm talking about matt james steve armor dragon darloff daylis gdr george lee matthew methos erion paul peace arch and realities for less red prophet roland soul ashry tenren more gentle and ubuntu and Willie. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the Mission Center application would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software like Mission Center, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.